Today, I'm gonna to show you how to run and illustrate the IUL illustration. This illustration is through F&G Life. This is for those who are looking to supplement the retirement income tax-free. So let's go ahead and get right to it. So for the producers out there, what you would simply do is log into F&G. This will lead you to the sales link, then you go to the illustrations, and then it'll take you to the website. My suggestion is that you do this online so you don't have to save it, it auto saves. Um, you don't have to download it or anything like that. It'll always be on your online portal. Once that pops up, you would click start new case, or if you have an existing case, you would click view my cases, um, and that'll lead you to the application here. So now we'll go ahead and click new case. Now we're gonna go ahead and enter the name. Um, I saw this example before and I thought it was pretty funny. So we're gonna enter the name James Bond. And we're going to say he was born in the first day of the year in 1976. So January 1st, 1976. Actually, let's look at 1980. So it'll be a 41-year-old male. We're also just going to assume that Mr. Bond is really healthy and a non-tobacco user. Now we go ahead and select a state. Let's see, Indiana. How about we choose Indiana. And then we're gonna go ahead and select the product. Make sure you select IUL or the Index Universal Life. Click Find Available Products. Then you're gonna go ahead and select the FG Pathfinder or Path Setter, I'm sorry, the Path Setter right here. Click the Quotes and Illustrations. Once we go to the next page, it'll show the details here. Of course, here we have the underwriting. Now, if you have someone with underwriting questions, you can go ahead and click the underwriting guidelines just for details on how someone's rated or what's unacceptable. Now, when you hear the term, this is where the magic happens. It all starts right here underneath the solve four. So let's say this 41 year old gentleman already max funded his IRA or 401k. And I'm telling him, do not put a dollar over what they're matching you. Let's use that money and put it into an index universal life policy, which gives you tax-free income. This is because the more money you put over the matching amount, it's at risk of losing in the market and you'll start being taxed as soon as you even think about pulling that money out. But when you select index universal life, we'll go ahead and select max accumulation and income. Now, this will let us be able to fund our policy as much as we're allowed with also having the smallest or minimal amount of death benefit in the policy. Remember, the goal here is not the insurance. So we're trying to max fund the policy and have the smallest amount of insurance in there so we can speed up the accumulation and the cash value growth and the compounding interest in the policy. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna solve for the face amount then. Then we're gonna choose between the annual or the monthly amount premium. But just for this example, the mode will be monthly. Now let's say this gentleman wants to fund his policy $1,000 a month. This means he has an extra $1,000 of income that he's able to put aside for future and eventual tax-free growth and tax-free access according to tax code 7702, which I also talk about in numerous of other videos. Keep in mind, even though you're putting this money away, you still have complete access to it. And I'm gonna show you this later in the video. So this $1,000 a month will then translate to $12,000 a year, as you'll see. Now for starters, we are not gonna pay all the way to year 100. Now, let's say this 41 year old wants to pay all the way up until year or age 66. We are going to pay premiums to age. A, for age 66, then the premiums will stop coming out at that time. At age 67 is when they're deciding to withdraw or borrow from this policy. Now, 25 years might not seem like a long time, but this would also take them to age 92. Most people are gonna to wanna to spend this income when they're young enough to do so. So that's another reason why this thing, or there's another reason what this is used for as well. 
Last but certainly not least, we're going to use this button here, which is the 7702 rates effective January 2021. These are just new rules that went effect in the uh, tax code of 7702, just allowing us to put more money in our policy faster than we've ever had before. After making sure that's selected, we're going to go ahead and click OK. After everything is set so far, here's another option we're going to look at. This is called this option here is called the option A, crediting. Then you have what's called option B. Now, option B is more aggressive, meaning you will have more money going into your cash value with a little bit of life insurance. But the thing about life option B is that it flip flops. So if your goal is to be more aggressive with your income growth, I suggest we select option B to A. In this example, we will specify what year we want to stop, which would be, in our example, age 66, because that's the age we plan to stop putting money or putting funds towards our policy. So that means we're going to flip them at that time or age 66, going back to option A. This is that front-loading strategy, getting more money into the policy quicker, um, which also means that we will have less money going towards the target premium. So for this example, let's just choose option A to keep it level throughout the whole life. We're not gonna to touch the initial face amount because it'll change over time, nor are we gonna change any amounts here. We are also gonna leave the payment mode amount monthly, and we're not gonna to touch anything else here as we move forward. Last thing we're gonna look at is the crediting method. To keep the policy as diversified and flexible as possible, we will split it up into thirds. We will put 34% in the S&P annual point to point because um, right now it's doing 7.47%. And then I'll do 33% in the S&P monthly point to point. And then we're gonna end it with the Barclays Trailblazer 33% um, because right now it's doing 7.16%. Like I said, you can do it in thirds to make it diversified, but some people may say, hey, there's already two in the S&P. That doesn't seem as diversified as you're saying. And if that's the case, we can put 50 in the S&P, and we can also put 50% in the Barclays Trailblazer. No problem. This will give us a good combination rate, average rate of about 7.31%. Try to get that from the bank today. Not gonna happen. Everything else looks pretty much the same. Well, we keep pretty much the same. Um, of course, here you can add riders, but the goal here is income replacement and retirement income. So we'll keep everything vanilla or simple as possible. Now we're gonna go up to the top and select view and print illustration. Now that the illustration is up, I'm gonna tell you a couple things here. Again, this is a F and G path setter. This is made for wealth accumulation, wealth transfer, cash value accumulation, living benefits, and many more. This right here shows that the guideline level premium is $12,000 a year. Guideline single premium here illustrates at $179,820. This means someone can actually contribute more to this policy and actually pay it up. This is also something I do not recommend any sooner than five to seven years. So if they did actually want to pay this policy up in seven years, they can pay in 25,688 a year segments for seven years. And then they're done, completely done at this point. Basically, you can fund it for seven years, be done with it, never have to put any other dime into it. And it's going to accumulate even faster because of compounding interest. But again, you can't just dump 179K into this policy. This is for the tax compliance. You know, we're trying to stay within the tax codes to make sure this is tax free. So I do not recommend that we dump the whole thing in there. This has to be over time of five to seven years to be in compliance with the tax codes. Okay, so now the death benefit is valued at 653,835. This is how much life insurance Mr. Bond gets by putting in $1,000 a month. 
Keep in mind, I know we can do way better than this, but right now we're not strictly shopping for life insurance. If we were strictly shopping for life insurance, we can find something better, but this is not the goal here. This is something that we're going to create income with. So now you have to look at it as if um, you're just protecting your investment by life insurance, just in case you die too soon. So if you made a thousand dollar payment and you died tomorrow, unfortunately, um, it's going to pay $653,000 to your beneficiary. Okay. Talk about a rate of return. So when we talk about living benefits, it's pretty important. Um, these benefits do have uh, living benefit riders, such as you see critical, terminal, and even the chronic illness. This means if someone were to get really sick or ill, um, if they qualify, they can get an advance on their life insurance benefit. Now, the cool thing about this is this is not coming from your cash value. This is coming from strictly the death benefit of the policy, which I think is really cool. And these are all important benefits that are included in this. So now we get down here to the numbers. One thing that the client needs to understand here is this is a time sensitive product, meaning this is we're in this thing for the long run. This is the long haul. OK, you really have to invest in the IUL for at least 10 years for it to actually make sense for retirement planning purposes. That's because these are cost loaded up front. So since these insurance companies know uh, that they have to pay a lot of money to us in, in, in the you know, situation that we die, they low, they front load the costs and the fees uh, in the first 10 years. So let's look at it here. In the first 10 years, this 41 year old Mr. Bond had paid $120,000 into his policy. Let's say the cash value is performing at half right now, which is 4.75%. That means the account value would be $103,000. And the surrender value here, which is the amount of money that we have access to or he has access to, is worth $98,000. Now, looking at the 10-year mark, you might be saying this isn't a very good deal. But now let's see what is currently performing at the average 7.32% income rate. If this is true, they would look they'd be looking at somewhere around $112,000 that they can take out tax free cash in this policy. So you put in 120,000 and you get to take out 12,000. Sounds like a terrible idea. Justin, why would I want to do this? This is because it's not a get rich gimmick. This is a long-term play. Now, let's jump ahead 20 more years and let's see what happens. Now, once these costs and fees get completely diminished, by the way, you do have to pay a little bit because of the insurance. We're still paying for the insurance and the policy. There needs to be an insurable cause, so we have to keep insurance in there. At this point, James went from 41 to 61, meaning he's getting ready to start his retirement soon. He now has paid $240,000 into his policy and he's looking to have access to three hundred and two to four hundred thousand dollars in cash value. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're almost doubled here. So again, just letting things grow over time, you're able to accumulate a massive growth, massive value gain just by the future timing. Also keep in mind the most important part, which I think is pretty awesome, is you're allowed to be your own banker. So let's do an example here. So let's say in year 13, Mr. Bond is 54 years old and his daughter thinks, his daughter just decides, well, I'm gonna get married. So now James has to fork out $25,000. Without having to dip into his nest egg, pull out of his stocks or his IRA, he's got $177,000 sitting in his cash value. He can borrow $25,000, no problem. He can use that money, pay himself back if he chooses to. If he doesn't choose to, that money will just come out of his death benefit whenever he dies. Keep in mind, it will deplete $25,000 in your policy, so it will have to build back up again. But this allows you to have access to money whenever you need it. Now, this has no penalties like the IRAs, or the 401ks because this money 
is not taxable. Now let's fast forward and say Mr. Bond is living a good life, no terminal illness, no, no suffering, no death, he's still living. Now what happens? Let's say he actually makes it to 66 and he retires. Now here at age 66, you see that he invested about $300,000 into his policy. Keep in mind, this is all after tax money. Now this means the value is anywhere between $450,000 and $650,000 in his policy. Again, this only depends on what the interest rates are averaged over time. So if I want to be optimistic and say that the average interest rates will be anywhere between 6 and 8% and he decides to pull the trigger. He then decides that he wants to withdraw an annual income starting at age 68. Based on the amount that's in the account, he wants this amount to last 25 years. This also means that this is gonna give Mr. Bond an extra annual income of $72,000. This is on top of any IRAs, 401ks, or stocks that he has in place. And also this is tax-free. He has to take, he has to pay taxes on those other investments. So now let's look at the math here. He starts withdrawing $72,000 at age 68. By age 71, he already withdrew $291,000 of income tax-free. Now this gentleman has made it to age 81 um, and he's been receiving this income the whole time while only paying $300,000 into the policy and already at age 81, he's already withdrew over a million dollars of tax-free income. But what if he didn't make it to 81 and he died at what? Age 74. Great question. He'll still have a life insurance death benefit of $676,000. So he collected that money well over what he paid into the policy. And now his wife and kids have a death benefit lump sum of $676,000 waiting for him. How is this not one of the greatest investment opportunities out there today? This is a plan that guarantees that you'll never lose money due to down markets. Earns an average interest rate of 5 to 7% each year. Then it provides an extra income or even a bank loan from yourself in the event that you need to ever have money. Let's finish this by saying he actually lived to 91 years old. You know, people are, people are living longer. He literally paid $300,000 and collected tax-free $1.8 million. Died a happy life at 91. Oh, and by the way, his family still gets $214,000 of death benefit. My name is Justin Smith. If this is something that you think you need to get your hands on, I suggest you check the link in our bio right now, and it'll link you to what I call the Smith Fund ebook, e-guide, and we can get you started and get you a little more deeper dive into what this strategy can do for you and your family's future. This is the investment show, and this is the Smith Fund, and this is an example, this is an illustration of what the Max Funded Tax Advantage Life Insurance Contract can do for you, for your family, and many more. Thanks, see you next video.